Boobitch, it's Kim Petrus, and I'm here with 103 questions. Ah. What's up, you guys? I'm Extra Eric from 1033 Amp Radio, and if you're looking for a fright, you're in for a treat. We're here with our spooky legend, Miss Kim Petras. Yay, spooky. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm great. How are you? Good, thanks. How has the Bloom Tour been? Fun. It's literally rocking above us. Yeah, yeah, it's right there. Um, Yeah, I just got off stage. It's been amazing so far. I love Troy. He's really He's an icon. killing it every single night, <laughs> and it's cool to like watch his set every night yeah. and um, to hang out and it feels like there's we're just like friends on a tour it's really cool it's really great <laughs> do you hang out on the um, tour yeah we've we've hung out a little bit like uh we're definitely like he's on a different bus than than me so it's uh yeah there's definitely days where we don't see each other but that's good he'd get so annoyed of me so quick no it's okay yeah no but but yeah we've been, we've been and earlier out. in the it's week you cool. hosted charlie's party with 1999 too yeah that must have yeah been so epic. that was amazing i mean i love uh whenever she throws a party like that it's just like a house party it's like not like a performance really it's she just is an like icon. i love her so much it's just like everybody gets on stage and just has fun and gets really really lit <laughs> and drunk Same. and yeah so it's, it's been really fun ali x was there leland was there he was also on this tour um yeah was fun. All right, so the game's 103 questions, and what you're going to do is you're going to pick three numbers one by one and answer the corresponding questions. Cool. Let's, Are you ready? Let's hit it. What yeah. do you want to go with first? Um, From one so to I, 103. Okay, so 27 is my lucky number. I love this question. If you were on The Real Housewives, what would your tagline be? Um, um, it would be, whoop. Ah, uh, bitch. <laughs> yeah, so that. Even though I, I know I should come up with something even, you know, more intimidating than I that. I feel like there's something with heart to break, but... Yeah. Are you a Bravo fan? I'll, maybe I'll, like, I'll break your Louboutin or something. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I, I don't watch it that much. No, I don't. No. I, I'm obsessed with Erica Jane, but... Uh, but yeah, Erica I don't, I don't Jane watch it that is much. The best. Are you familiar with her music? Of course. How many <laughs> do I give? Not one. Zero. Nine. <laughs> Not one. Zero. Zero. Yes. Zero. Done. Done. A bop. That would. Oh half. my god. A bop yeah. and a half. For sure. Yeah, my friend Jesse St. John wrote songs with her. So. I was going to mention Jesse St. Yeah. John before because I was talking with one of my coworkers about how the artists of a lot, or excuse me, the songwriters behind a lot of the famous songs that we listen to, you don't know much about them, and especially people like Sarah Hudson and Jesse St. John. It's yeah. like crazy that they're behind a lot of what we listen to. Yeah, now. yeah, for sure. That's so awesome. They're just like my babies. I love them. What's it like being BFFs with Paris Hilton? It's great, yeah. It's really good. <laughs> no, sad. yeah, no. I I love her so much. Like she's really iconic to me. Just like growing up and you know cutting out like Paris Hilton uh, <laughs> pictures out of like magazines and yeah, just like standing her. You know, I I like <laughs> loved the Simple Life the first season. And uh, are you familiar just, with like, her music too? Of course, yeah. yeah I listened to that that album Come is incredible. Alive. Such a amazing yeah i mean her first album is really where it's at for me stars personally are stars are blind uh nothing in this world bops after bops <laughs> um yeah well speaking of bops turn off the light <laughs> yeah. volume one has me shook sick immediate question is there going to be a follow-up? Uh, yeah i mean that's why we put the volume one in there because like it is it coming before yeah. halloween it's not, no. Uh, so I think it's gonna, um, yeah, I think it's gonna come out next Halloween. Next year? Yeah. Um, so okay. this was just part I'm one. Literally yeah. Shook. Because, like, I don't know. We were just like, why don't we make annual <laughs> Halloween albums? And yeah. Please make it a So that's, that's the plan. That's the plan. It might change. <laughs> like, it's still like a year to go. It's not even Halloween. Interesting. Um, yeah. So that's right now. And I know recently you said, too, that you're, when you were talking about your strategy for like becoming a new artist and releasing music, you basically yeah. had all of the singles you've released done 
before you even started with like, I don't yeah. want it at all. Yeah, so totally. is there an album coming then? Are you that far ahead into the game? Um, I am not that far ahead into the game. Like right. I can, de I definitely, I have a bunch of songs lined up, but I definitely like want to get back into writing December. Just like when I come off of this tour, I want to get back into writing and just like write new stuff. And I always like, I, I get really anxious when I don't have like a ton of songs stacked up and lined yeah. up and just like a game plan. So, uh, so yeah, I just, I definitely want to release my, my debut album next year. I definitely think that would be amazing. Um, yeah. So I just, um, uh, I don't really know what's going to happen yet. It's really, all, it, it all depends on if a song goes, you know, yeah. if, uh, if Hard to Break works out, which it just hit the top 40 on radio, which was amazing. That's Thank amazing. you. Which was the first time that ever happened. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I've been pushing it for like half a year, you know, just like hustling that it's record. Such a bop. Thank you so much. Uh, but it just kind of started its life on like radio, <laughs> you know, it just started getting spins. So, um, yeah, let's see. Let's sense. see where stuff goes. Oh, that's so exciting. Yeah. For Turn Off the Light, <laughs> how did you end up getting Elvira on the track? Because that's my favorite song on. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I love that one too. Yeah, well, it happened really last minute. It was really hard to get in touch with her, but my publicist uh, knows her management. And uh, yeah, so we just like reached out, and also my management knows our management. <laughs> they reached out. It was hard Talk to get about in a touch. Connection. Totally, but we like we like tried from three different like people that knew her management until they finally responded. We were really stalkery on her because like <laughs> I felt like Elvira was gonna like really make it legitimate as a Halloween exactly record because say. she's such a queen and like an iconic Halloween person that it's just like it was perfect of all to, people you totally her. she was my number one choice to have and like it, it kind of i don't know i feel like the the whole mixtape wouldn't be what it is without her mm -hmm. so i'm just super thankful that she did it all right. she sounds sick her voice is so <laughs> it's good it's so cool thank you do you want to jump to a second question yeah let's do it pick a number okay 97 justin timberlake or justin bieber um justin bieber why um, I don't know. I don't know. Man of the Woods of the really wasn't my, my jam. <laughs> Same. Except for Montana. That was a good song. Yeah. So, th yeah. I'll, I don't know. I just, I'll just spontaneously <laughs> say the Biebs because, like, I feel like he's been d making a lot of bops and I'm really excited for his comeback and what he's going to do, like, his next era yeah. now. Like, his last one was That's crazy. Good. It was so Just, sorry. like, hit after hit after hit. It was insane. Do you have a favorite bop? Um... Justin Bieber bop. Um, I know that doesn't really narrow it down. Uh, where are you now that I need you? That one. Mm. That one is so good. It's so epic. Yeah. You know what song immediately just popped into mind? Because I'm a, so Beauty and a Beat. I don't know why it just came to me. And Nicki Minaj. And I know you like. The beauty and a I'm beat. getting like a concert. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you were recently like with Nicki at the Jacob show and were yeah. so close to her. Yeah. Are you a huge Nicki fan like myself? A huge, huge. Pink Friday changed my life. Oh my like God. it was really just that amazing. It like, was so good. Yeah. Just she's so incredible like she writes all her bars she's an artist she's, she's the queen. a boss she's so inspirational i watch her interviews all whenever i feel like down i watch Nicki minaj interviews <laughs> have you listened to queen radio yeah i mean so. i just i just love her whole personality and everything mm -hmm. about her like it's she's just a really inspiring yeah. person like to she me. does it like she's yeah a boss totally i love that have you heard her new song with little mix that dropped today no haven't heard it yet a woman like me should I, uh, sweet I, i'll definitely I, I was definitely planning to but today was crazy <laughs> I can only, how was coming from canada uh it was good but we like crossed the border at like 3 a.m and like had to wait to get through and it was definitely yeah miserable. and then we had to head right to radio this morning and so we did like a lounge mm -hmm. and interviews and then we did sound check and then we did the tour and now we're here so it's, it's been a long day i, <laughs> I love it like i'm the night cat. i i wouldn't like want it any other way I love being like it's super gonna be busy. so crazy it, it is yeah like a year ago like i got like one text message a week <laughs> like my life was so like different than now even though i was you know i was i was i had all the songs yeah. pretty much and i you know was just waiting to get get to drop so them insane and... how many songs you have ahead of time because you know what yeah was, i was very upset but one of the, my favorite unreleased bops for me was yeah. stripped from soundcloud this year and i was wondering if you were ever going to do anything with that which one what's it called for me 
I don't uh, even know uh, if that's oh, the pick name. Pick him for me. Yeah, yeah, that one's so cute. I wrote, wrote that one for Gwen Stefani and my, like with Gwen and Stefani in mind. No, uh, so yeah, that was like my my like I really wanted to give that to Gwen. Um, yeah, most of these like leaks that are happening are just like songs from like the years and years yeah. of me just being in any studio, <laughs> just writing with anybody I could work with. It's really interesting. It's so cool that they're surfacing and you can like kind of see my like arc mm -hmm. as an artist like when I really like found it what I wanted to yeah. do as an artist because I definitely experimented with like a lot of sound yeah. sounds and different genres and styles before I like really nailed what, what, what I was really good at <laughs> yeah well for me when I first listened to your music you reminded me so much of Gaga because I'm a Gaga stan sweet Plus, same I love her I always listen to her unreleased songs so like that's what I attribute it to because like the level of how many songs you both have that are out Thank you. Yeah, I mean, uh, same with Gaga. Like, the fame changed my life as well. I was just like, when she sang <laughs> eyeliner and cigarettes, I was just like, that is my life. Because I, I, yeah, I was just like 15, 14, something like You're that. Right. Just like, the fame was my life. I like, <laughs> love that record. Boys, boys, so, boys. Yeah, totally. She just like, yeah, she's really inspiring. A Star is Born is like, I haven't seen it yet, but I, I it hear all this... Did you love it? Everybody's I loving it. it. Yeah. I she's mean, an she, incredible actress, whatever she does. Yeah, whatever she does in American Horror Story, she's amazing. I, uh, yeah, Horror I'm Story. really obsessed. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be collaborating with anybody soon? She, yeah, yeah. I have a bunch of collabs in the works uh, with some really cool people. Uh, the, the, the stuff that's going to probably drop soon is the Sophie collab. Like, I'm we, we worked Sophie on some songs together, and I love Sophie, and we just like like ready to put those out too and ready to perform those because i'm really excited about is it gonna them. be like a club banger or is it yeah is it more I think towards I, kim or more towards sophie um well it's it's both yeah it's just like you know it's, what I mean? it, we definitely have to i think we're gonna um we're probably gonna drop uh one one kim one and one sophie one you know just like Keep doing kind it. of a double pack would be cool would because be like yeah we have like multiple songs that are really good that i want to <laughs> put out Everything Sophie does is just like spotless too. All yeah, her totally. Production work for everyone she does. I'm very in love with Sophie. I love her. What do you want to pick for your third and final question? Ooh, the glasses are off. Um, yeah, they're off. Wow. Um, <laughs> I think 103. This one isn't as exciting, but we can go for it. Let's go for it. Pretend you're Ashton Kutcher. Who would you want to punk? Are you familiar with punk? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Believe it or not, some people have not been familiar. Yeah. Um. I'd want to punk, like, probably my my management. Yeah, that would be awesome. Uh, I love, like, when I'm ever I'm on tour, I love to punk people. I love I love that kind of <laughs> stuff. Um, but, yeah, Troy. I, I'll say Troy, because that would be really, really fun. <laughs> I feel like, um, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll, att him? I'll attempt to do it. Uh, what could I do? Hmm. I have no idea. Like there's things through. It's hard to pick Yeah, one. totally. What What would you do? To Troy? Yeah. I literally have no idea. I've only met him once because he is also it, a veteran of this game as well. I've yeah. done this with him and he is great. Oh, but yeah. I don't know what I could do to him. Just like trash his dressing room. Then that wouldn't be a good look. Like That would just suck. Do you want to go? <laughs> Let's <kidding>. freaking go. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I have no idea how to punk Troy Savon. <laughs> But, but she would. But hey, should we pick one more question just in Do case? Do you want to go for yeah, it? Yeah, let's pick one more. Um, I want to go with 13. Oh, this is exciting. What's your favorite Britney Spears song? Wow. Such a um, loaded question. So a lot of them are like my jams and stuff I will never stop listening to ever. I love everything on Blackout. I love Get Back on it. I love, like, no, that's so on. Of course. If you can't take it, then get, get back. back. It's get so back. good. That was um, my favorite song. I love Break the Ice. I love uh, Get Naked. Get Naked. Um, but honestly, kind of, I've been listening to a lot of Unusual You. 
and it's just like so stunning You're blowing my mind it's just such a stunning song i just think it's like it's really underrated and beautiful a lot of circus so, was underrated so i'll pick unusual you because i like love it i love that you could actually say those like hidden gems of britney because lots i've of listened like, to all like every single song yeah. she's officially released i've i've heard you know how lots of artists are just like oh my god i love britney i love toxic yeah like, yeah, yeah of course yeah totally <laughs> i mean i just really yeah i just i love the deep cuts the britney deep cuts there's deep some cuts. incredible ones yeah well before we go we'll wrap it up what can the fans expect next because you've surprised us with a lot of incredible music like what's coming yeah. up how are you going to surprise us next well i just want to keep surprising people <laughs> you know so uh i i don't really want to spill anything date wise but there's a lot of collabos collaborations coming <laughs> with really tight people and cool artists that i really like um the, uh, this year uh like before it's over and then hopefully next year i'm finally gonna drop my first legit album uh, which I can't wait for, and I have so many songs for it. I just gotta pick them. It's yeah. gonna be amazing. Thank you. I uh, yeah. So I hope we're you like it. gonna get new Kim music in 2018 though. So yeah, for sure. so much. Yeah, a bunch. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank for doing you so this. much. You this have was made fun. This so iconic. Aw, thanks. All right. Tight. We did it. We did it. We get back. Woo -ah. oh, wait. Give us one more. Okay. Woo ah. <laughs> <Bitch>. Thank you. <laughs>